Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility Channel, and we are on the downhill side of this World Whiskey Advent Calendar for 2018. Today we're looking for Day 19, which is right here. So we're going to open it up. I'm going to pour some into this glass without seeing what it is. And I'll nose and taste it and try to put together some sort of profile or story or comparison to something I've had. And then we'll all laugh when we find out what it really is. So, oops, a little string went with it. Okay. That's still okay. Hmm. A little on the dark side. Which is usually fine with me. Okay, last drop, come on. Ooh. And then I put the bottle over here so I can't see it. And then I click the mic all over the table as I'm reaching. So, I don't know why I moved that back. That's not in the script. So this has a bit of color to it. So it's either colored or American or sherry finished or something like that. My first impression is bourbony as I'm smelling it. I will give it a little longer. See if I can pull out any individual things. I'd say sweet and corny. Maybe a little age on it, a little dustiness. <sighs> Might be confusing that age with some sort of complex old cherry finish or cherry matured thing, but that's it's not fruity enough in that way. But in nose is the least reliable thing to go by, so I'll hold off making grand predictions. Wow, I'm not getting that much. Can't tell ABV. Can't tell much about the grain. I'd, I'd go with bourbon. Okay, so here's where the first big shot comes when I taste it. Malt. Sherry. <laughs> Might just be a sherry finish and not uh, totally matured in the sherry cast, but it's got those deep, dark, dark, rich fruits, raisins and plums, prunes, dates, fig. That's sweet, thick, gooey stuff. And the malt is kind of nice. It's got a sweetness to it. The I think is coming from the malt. It's a little hint of that sulfuriness, but it's not it's not bad, it's not off-putting, it's not sour. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this wash over me, over my tongue, for a few sips as I take in the notes. I'm thinking Scotch, Scotland. Sherry casks. Eighty percent sure it's sherry. Could be port cask or something like that, but I think I'm picking up the usual sherry notes. And I'm not picking up that much about the age. Can't really tell all that much about the oak or the casks. This is, could be five, six, eight years old, maybe more. It's rounded off nicely. There's nothing really sharp or youthful about it. There's nothing old and leathery and old library-ish about the 
characteristics either. So there's no great age on this. So I say it's a familiar taste. Scotch, 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 and 10 or 20% chance it's something else. I'm gonna put in a little water and see if that changes anything. Oh yeah, there's no, I can't tell it's a particularly high ABV. So I would say 45, yeah, 43 max. And I just made it lower with the water. It wasn't, it wasn't strong on the, on the palate. I think I'm getting a little more fruitiness. The dark fruit notes picked up a little bit with the water addition. There might be more kinds. It's more prominent. It's a nice nose. I'm not detecting any of the sulfuriness on the nose at all. Now I would say that's really cherry. Cherry for sure. More things came out. With the water. It's less malty. It's more fruity. It's not overly sweet, but you know, there's some, there's a little sweet in there. It's not hard to find. You don't have to go looking for it. But it's not syrupy or drippy sweet. I like it. That's pretty solid, well put together, high quality. So I'm still saying most likely from Scotland and certainly could be shocked by some other place in the world. We've already had our Taiwanese. Haven't had Japanese, have we? Uh, there, yeah, it was a, that odd name I didn't know. 963. So there, there's some regions of the world that they might put in here that we haven't seen yet, like South Africa, New Zealand. So I'm just waiting for one of those. One of these holes has something like that. But we need to see a scotch too. And I'm voting that this is it. Okay. I'm gonna save a little so I can celebrate when I read the label and find out it's from Scotland. Wine, oh, Star Ward. Is that Australian? Wine Cask Edition New World Projects Malted Barley Spirit Drink 41%. I'm thinking Star Wars is that New Zealand company. Wine Cask Edition New World Projects Malted Barley Spirit Drink. <laughs> they had trouble coming up with a name for the drink because it didn't fit some legal category is what I take away from that label. So I will look this up and put a little more info down in the description. So you'll have it all there in front of you as you're watching me uh, guess wrong things again about this particular spirit. But I like it, it's very good. I guess I got the A, B, V about right. I got the wine cask finish mm, detection. Okay, but exactly what it was, I, I missed that. Different part of the world different kind of wine, but it's good. I would seek this out and buy it if it wasn't too expensive. I might go 80 or hundred dollars on a bottle like this. And there's nothing else in my collection quite like it. And it's pretty good, Starward. So if you like what you're seeing, give me a like down below, give me that thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you have something to disagree with or you're just feeling contrary. Subscribe to the channel as well. Click on that bell if you want to be notified every time a new video is posted. And we're posting every day up until Christmas. 
Most of the time this channel is not about whiskey. It's about tasting and smelling and sensing other things. Like right after Christmas, we'll be doing a series on varietal honeys. That is surprisingly broad, good, interesting, and came from my whiskey explorations. So I'll explain all that in the first couple videos. That's what's on the schedule for post this whiskey advent calendar. So Merry Christmas, and that's all for now.